Welcome to Texas CA Ceramic Studio. Based off of Eagle Pass, Texas, I'm Carlos Herrera. Our pottery here in Eagle Pass, Texas is made out of clay dug from the real ground by hand. I recently found out from our local town historian, Sir Jeff Taylor, Texas Sea Ceramic Studio is the first pottery in the history of Eagle Pass since its inception in 1849. Whenever you buy a piece from Texas Sea Ceramic Studio, you're not only buying a mug, a plate, a bowl, you're buying a piece of passion, a piece of, of art that you can use in your daily life. The clay that we use is based off of the real grand. Uh, I dig it up myself. This clay is natural, it's pure. This is the, more, the most traditional way to do pottery. The way I think about it is if you try to keep your pottery or any type of work that you do as pure and as traditional as you can make it, I think that will create that special connection between the potter, the artist, or the person that creates uh, an artisan between the artisan and the person that purchases their work. I think it creates that, that special connection between them. And for me, getting the material straight from the ground where I was born in it makes it a lot a lot more special for me. The pots that I make here in Texas CH Ceramic Studio, I make them all by hand. I make all the glazes by hand. I make the clay by hand. I also, every single piece that I make, I try to make it with as much passion as I do. The way I feel about this pot and the way I think about it is that the way I feel about making pottery, I really want to transmit that to someone else and to have them feel the same way I feel whenever I'm making that piece on the wheel. I wasn't meant to be a potter, I actually decided to do pottery right after college. I actually have a degree in criminal justice, but things happened in between college that I actually had to take an elective to graduate. I ended up taking ceramics for one semester. I fell in love with the clay, I fell in love with the texture, I fell in love with how much hard work you need to put into it. Here in Texas CH Ceramic Studio, we focus on doing all the promotional aspects, all the business aspects that comes with running a small business. And to me, it helped me grow a, a more deeper understanding for people that own their small businesses. And that's had a lot of gratifying experience with a lot of beautiful people here in Eagle Pass and not only in Eagle Pass, San Antonio, Houston, I have my work in Hawaii, I have my work in, in New York and it has been the most gratifying experience that I've ever had in my life and for that I'm ever grateful to every single one of my clients that has bought pottery uh, from Texas CA Ceramic Studio. I really feel special and I feel humbled to think that there's people here in Eagle Pass that support small businesses like this. And not only my businesses, but other, other businesses that are here in Eagle Pass. The clay that I use comes from the Rio Grande. I go uh, straight to the river. Uh, I try to look for a little quarry that might have a little clay. And uh, I take my shovel, my bucket, I pick up some clay and I clean it out here. There's a lot of things that you need to do in pottery and uh, pottery has shown me a lot of lessons as well. I've learned how to be a, a more patient person and more compassionate as well. Thankfully, I've learned that because of pottery. I've had a lot of people in my lifetime 
they are the most amazing, most humble people you can ever meet. And not only the community here in Eagle Pass, but the, the ceramics community, they have been so helpful. I wanna thank everybody for helping me out. Also, the work that I do is handmade. Each individual piece has its own attention. Each individual piece has its own character. So you won't have two pieces the same. I also try to make every piece with its own little story. So if you pick up a pot from Texas CA Ceramic Studio, you'll probably see a little imperfection. You'll probably see one of my fingerprints there. I think that's the beauty about handmade pottery and how people can connect with the potter without even having the potter around. Just by buying one of their mugs or one of their pieces, you can see the story of the pot that's gone through all of this huge process. You have to pick up the clay from the, from the local streams and reels. You also have to clean it. You have to clean the clay. Once you clean it, you wedge the clay. You wedge the clay and then you put it on the potter's wheel. You make the piece and then you attach all the different attachments that you need to put on the piece. After that, you let it dry and then you put it into the, the kiln. When the piece is, is ready to be put in the kiln, the piece gets fired up to 1,400 degrees. And throughout that high heat, the clay needs to, needs to shape and mold and, and the, the clay molecules, they need to withstand that high level of heat. And I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned with pottery because when you turn up the heat, some people either give up or they keep on pushing forward. This new venture that I'm taking hasn't been easy, but I can relate a lot of my life to pottery. And hopefully with the same type of lessons that I've learned and the same way that I feel about pottery, when someone picks up a piece from Texas State Ceramic Studio, they can feel the passion, they can feel the love that's taken into every single one of these pieces here. And I wish with whatever I make here in Texas City Ceramic Studio, everybody can feel uh, with this pottery.